hello guys welcome back to another video i would like to welcome all my subscribers the new ones also thank you very much for subscribing on my channel i really appreciate you and it really motivates me to just continue doing what i like to do so and thank you for those who always leave a comment behind who always like my videos and also for the people who leave a thumbs down i know i have haters too so i mean it doesn't have to be haters it are just people who just doesn't feel the vibe something is for sure you are watching my video so thank you for this thank you very much and let's just move along and start this video okay so guys what is comonogenic oils let's see i have to read this so on my paper i wrote down the comonogenic skills is ranked by how likely it is that any specific ingredients such as oils and butters used in cosmetic products formulation will clog pores. Anyone who suffers from acne or blackhead should stay away from comedogenic oils. Why? Because those oils are likely to increase acne problems, guys. Yes, I am someone that has an oily skin and everything that I use seems to work in the beginning and then it just break out out of nowhere ah what is it I don't know so if you have dry skin you might prefer a more emollient oily comedogenic oil toward the middle of the scale the scale that is used to number the oil start from zero and end with five so here is a list on how the number of the rank on the scales go so so you have zero that won't clock your pores you have one that is very low likelihood to not clog your pores and you have two that is moderate low likelihood you have three that is moderate likelihood four that is fairly high likelihood and five that is high 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 likelihood of clogging your pores if you see me looking down i have my paper over here and i have my notes so i don't want to miss anything so Comodogenic oils are oils that will clog your pores, won't allow or let your skin to breathe. If your pores are clogged, you are gonna break out because your skin cannot breathe. So if you have oily skin, comodogenic oils are not your thing. You should stay away from that unless you want to have acne. But non-comodogenic oil are oils that won't clog your pores. That are oils that will penetrate your hair, enter your skin, and won't clog your pores. So your natural oil that your hair is producing, the face sebum and the hair sebum, will be able to come out and protect your skin or your hair, moisturize your hair. That is what gives your hair his strength when you adding oil on your hair that are cosmoto i always want to say cosmoto that are comodogenic it will block everything so that sebum won't be able to come out and it will also give a signal to your sebum production that you have enough oil but that oil will never really penetrate in your hair follicles it will just block your hair because your hair needs his natural oils the oils that you want to replace your sebum with it, it, it's not the white let's just say that it is not white you need your natural sebum you need an oil that we want to penetrate and and just leave your natural sebum do it works so a small recap non comedogenic oils are oils that won't clog your pores or your hair follicles. Comedogenic oils are oils that will clog and block, 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 block everything. So I'm gonna name all those oils and also names for what skin type it is and the composition. You won't know and understand the name of those composition because even me, um, I'm, I'm reading this, I'm like, it doesn't get better. <laughs> but guys, I'm only gonna name the popular oils 
and i'm gonna leave out some oil that i don't even know about and maybe you don't know about and i don't think it will add any value to our education of today but anyways so this is the list of how the waiting is done and this is the oil so i will start with sweet almond oil it is on number two on the waiting list and it is for dry sensitive acne prone skin and the composition is high in all like acid i don't know if i pronounce it well but and then argan oil is on waiting zero it is for most skin type and the composition is high in oleic acid and lino like acid don't know what that means avocado oil my favorite oil this oil makes my hair soft but it is not good for my the scalp it is three on the waiting list it is for dry acne prone and it is the composition is high in oleic acid and then you have let's see and then you have a uh, carrot seed oil it is three between the three and four and it is for dry mature skin okay the composition is high in oleic acid and what we have more we have uh, coconut oil or coconut butter both weight four it is for very dry skin but best for body use so body use is perfect but not really for oily skin dry skin it would do uh, it, the composition is high in oleic acid stearic and palmitic acid and for coconut oil is is high in lauric acid and then we have what do we have more flaxseed oil it is weight four on the list it is for very dry skin best for body use the composition is high in alpha lino linic acid ah those name is getting better and then we have grape seed oil it is on number one on the list it is most for yeah, most skin type composition is high in lino like acid hemp seed oil my favorite that is also the oil that i use myself that is this one it is zero on the waiting list so it is it won't clog your pores it is for most skin type including oily slash acne prone uh, the composition is high in lino like lino like lino like acid moderate in lino like acid i don't know if i have to pronounce it as lino like or line lino like anyway yoyoba oil is number two on the list so that means it is moderate low likelihood to clog your pores it is for more skin type including oily acne prone composition is high in icosanoic acid and what do we have more you have name oil neem oil is it name oil <laughs> oil you have neem oil it is between the one and two so it is for dry acne prone skin high in oleic acid olive oil number two on the list dry and acne prone skin high in oleic acid shea butter it is from zero to two on the list uh, it is for normal to dry skin the composition is high in oleic and steric acid and that was it guys i recommend you to use for your hair and your face oil that is non-comogenic because it won't clog your pores it also depends on what skin type you have of course for oily skin type non-comogenic oil is best for your hair you can use um, a non comedogenic oil, hemp seed oil has been my fa my favorite, even though I don't really like the smell of it, but once it is on my hair, I cannot really uh, smell it anymore. And it really, it really softens the hair, it moisturizes the hair very well, and it doesn't clog my pores or my hair follicles. I only use it on my hair, I haven't used it on my face yet, because I'm very 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 skeptical we're using things on my face I've used a lot of things but now uh, 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 uh. 
so guys yes this is the difference between a comogenic oil and a non-comogenic oil so you can also look at your uh, product the product used like from a cosmetic product it can be um, for makeup to like a uh, face cream so just check the type of oil that they put in there because that might be the reason why if you're suffering from acne why your acne just keep coming back because it is blocking your pores and uh, and like and something like that so i hope this video was helpful and clear please let me know if you enjoy watching this video and if you learn something new because this was very new for me never heard of this so i'm glad that i i gained some more knowledge and i'm here to share that with you so if you like it as always what you do leave a thumbs up and if you have some question and some additional information comment below if you care please share this video and subscribe on my channel if you want to see more of this type of videos so guys thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you on the next one on my next video i want to talk about height hall fatigue so i am really studying everything to tell you what is hard or fatigue so see you then on the next one guys thank you bye